Okay, hello everyone. Today I have a really, 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 really long tutorial for you. Um, we're going to go through creating a UI dialog. It was a request after I showed off my map, uh, which I have here. I'm too lazy today to uh, actually fraps everything, so I'm just going to run it like this. The window will appear a bit laggy for you, but that's right. This list here on the left uh, is what I'm going to create. Uh, something like this, a scrolling list. I'm not going to do this part because it's exactly the same, essentially. It's the other part of the list. And in addition to that, we're going to go through preset and records because I also got a request on about how you can um, use those, or a real example in using those. We're going to go through a bit of code planning, uh, because I think that could be important for people who don't have programming experience. And then I'm going to go through some other variations and show you how easy it is to extend a list to create other kinds of lists. A list is very, very basic to create. But before we start, I'm going to rant about something that I found out today. I, today I created a list box in my map, here. And list box are fucking annoying. Uh, the first item you add to a list box appears in the first position. But after that, or pull down is what this is called. A list box is uh, a list. This is a pull down in the SC2 editor. Anyway, first item appears in the first position. The remaining items will appear in reverse order in the list. So that means that you need to add the first item and then you need to add all other items that you want in your list in reverse order. So if you simply want to put an array in here, add the first element and then loop through the rest of the array in, uh, yeah, as I said, reverse order. Anyway, enough about this map. Let me just pause this here and we'll go out here. So let's start planning your code. Uh, I have my folder for my map here. You obviously don't need to make a folder for your map. But I found useful when I wanted to create my map. The first thing I did when I started thinking about the um, the sign was that I made a sketch about how I wanted my menu to appear. Isn't it pretty? Uh, it's not very high-tech sketch or anything, but it's the basics are there, and I will recommend anyone who's planning on designing a UI to do the same thing. I also have sketch above other things for my UI, and just sketch it up because it gives you an idea about what you're supposed to do. Uh, after you sketch it up, it could be good to do what I did here when I created my initial shop design. I sat down and I thought about, okay, how am I going to store this in memory? Uh, and I started planning out how to store it, what variables to create. Then I thought, okay, then I need get and set for every variable. So I created this little, this little list for myself with what I needed and stuff like that. And I planned out how it's going to hook together to other windows and so on. Um, yeah, t t try it. Uh, if you don't know programming so well, this can be difficult, of course. Uh, but usually, if you put a little bit of planning into your code, it becomes a lot easier to actually make your code. Other things you should think about in your planning stage is uh, what systems can I separate? For instance, if you go to my part trader here, some people might end up coding this whole screen as one big, gigantic piece of code. And basically, that will become unmanageable uh, because it becomes so huge and it becomes hard to change and hard to update. Uh, what I've done is I've co coded this. Each dialog that you see on screen is a separate. I treated that as a separate piece, and I just pass messages between them. Uh, that way, I can reuse just with altering a little bit of code. I can reuse the same dialogs over and over. You'll see I have the same dialogs. These three dialogues in the bottom left are the same. There's a different dialogue here on the right side, but the dialogues on the top is also exactly the same. So yeah, just with a little bit of planning, I'm able to um, 
I save myself a lot of time later on because I know what I'm supposed to do. So yeah, I think that pretty much cover the first part. It's not very detailed. It's just uh, uh, to get you started on it. There's plenty of books and articles online about planning code and uh, so on. You don't need to go in so much detail for maps usually because they're not huge projects. Anyway, what we're going to create now is this list here that you can see on the left side. We're going to do the list, left list. Uh, just scroll buttons up and down and then list items in between. I'm also going to create multiple menus using the same list. So I'm just going to create something simple like that you can select one unit from one list and then you can select, after you've selected that, you can select another unit from another list. And we will use the exactly s same dialog for both lists. So... Yeah, I think I'm going to split this tutorial up into multiple parts, so I'll end part one here, and um, I'll continue in the next part.